Hi, welcome back. Uh, in this video series, we're talking about Centrify Identity Broker. This is video two. In video one, we talked about the problem statement. Here, we're going to do an overview of the solution before we uh, jump into demos. So Centrify Identity Broker is part of a privilege service, right? So privilege service has been around for a while, and it provides password services uh, like shared account password management, privilege session management for um, uh, Windows, Unix, Linux, um, databases, um, domains, secrets, etc. Right? But it, uh, as a part of the Centrify Identity Platform, it has this component called the Centrify Connector. So the Centrify Connector can act as a bridge. So if you have on-premises Active Directory or LDAP, and this traditionally was used for you to be able to access the platform uh, using either SSO or Smart Card or whatnot. Right? Now with Identity Broker, uh, what we have in scope is a very popular Amazon. Uh, uh, Linux, Red Hat Linux, CentOS, Oracle, SUSE, and Ubuntu. And with uh, Identity Broker, we can extend those identities that um, through the cloud connector, and uh, we can expose them out to public clouds, right? And the key benefit here is that you don't need to do, um, you know, some of the solutions that I explained in the other video, which is either, you know, uh, use SSH, SSH keys or you know, extend the directory here in, in those public clouds, or ultimately, which uh, is something that, you know, a lot of organizations do, is to just do like a site-to-site -site VPN to um, to provide the access, right? So uh, all you need is uh, that these, um, you know, Amazon Linux instances, um, or your Red Hat, or your CentOS, or your Oracle, SUSE, Ubuntu, regardless of where they are, all they need is to be able to talk to the Centrify Privilege Service, right? And, and this is the over HTTPS. This could be directly or over using a proxy, right? So in, in the next videos, we're going to discuss through demos how things are set up, how things are configured, how automation works, uh, and all that nice stuff. So um, in my environment, I already have running uh, an Amazon Linux uh, instance. I already have also a Red Hat uh, instance running on Azure, and I also have uh, an Ubuntu machine running on a Google Cloud Platform. So uh, video three starts with demos.